the charming streets of Paris are unrecognizable. <laughs> Hundreds of armored police filled the streets of Paris today as protesters wreaked havoc in the city. It's the 11th day of demonstrations across the country. At one point, a cafe caught fire, but the flames were extinguished quickly. <laughs> Union members also stormed American investment company Black Rock's offices. Protesters shielding their faces from tear gas as smoke filled the air. Protests have gathered huge crowds since January against the flagship reform of President Emmanuel Macron's second term, which lifts the retirement age by two years to 64. That was pushed through Parliament without a vote, adding fuel to the fire. The latest wave of demonstrations represents the most serious challenge to the authority of Macron since the Yellow Vest revolt four years ago. <laughs> Meanwhile, today, Macron is in Beijing meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. France and China agreeing nuclear weapons should not be used in the Ukraine war. But no word on these protests at home for Macron. The French president reluctant to throw the unions a bone and come to a sort of compromise. One that might settle the protests, at least for the time being. The demonstrations blowing up online as people share videos. And this video of people casually dining at a restaurant as literal fires burn outside. And this one of firefighters standing in solidarity with protesters gathered around Paris's famous Arc de Triomphe. On April 14th, the Constitutional Council delivers its verdict on the pension bill. Protesters have scheduled their next demonstration for the day before that. Constitutional experts say the council is unlikely to strike the legislation down, which the government hopes will help weaken protests.